Hello guys, welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so I'm so excited. In this one, we're going to be transforming this background to something like this. Trust me, we're going to be looking at a whole lot of techniques around background changes, changing rather, and it's going to really, 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 really be lovely by the time we are done. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is to crop the image. It's very simple. So I'm going to be using our social media crop size, four by 10. That I need her to get some headroom because if you see the background where we want to put her, we have quite some headroom there. So if we don't crop it in such a way that will give her some headroom, at the end of the day, we'll be losing out on a whole, uh, we'll be losing a lot of the background to scale it. So we'll just give her some space, turn on our content aware and press OK. All right, so we are done cropping. The next thing to do is to separate the object from the background. Because, of course, if we're bringing in a new background, then we definitely need to separate her from the background and be able to work on the two of them separately. So to do that, you need to make a selection of the object. You need to make a selection of the subject, or of the object, whatever you want to call it. Then right-click, go to Select Inverse. Now, there are so many techniques where you will be asked to use uh, your layer masking to do this. But I have found this particular technique that I am going to be using or that I have been using for some time now on this channel to be highly effective, especially when it comes to productivity that is being able to repeat or re uh, reproduce the same result over and over again. You need to make a duplicate of the background. Do not press Ctrl J, just drag it and place it over the plus icon. Then right click on the selection and go to layer view cut. Once you have your layer view cut, hold your control, reload the selection on the background. Then go to filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. So I wouldn't be blurring out, you know, a whole lot because our background is actually not rough. But if your background is very rough, you might need to take it as high as 170 or something. So we'll be keeping it at 30. Then press OK. Press Ctrl D to deselect it. Then make sure your object layer is above the background layer. Now you are ready to bring in your background. So I'm going to go into my background. Uh, that's the document. Open the layer. Pick up our move tool. Pick up our move tool and drag it into the object. Please make sure you turn off your auto select so that it doesn't end up selecting the wrong places. Hold your alternate, scale it in to fit your background. So we have in place our anchor points here and scale in them. Beautiful. Very good. So this is a very nice place to keep it. Whoa, this is already looking so nice. So two things we need to do now is that we need to create shadow for her and we also need to create her reflection. Because if you look at the, on the floor, you will notice that the whole thing upwards has its reflection downwards, except the image, which we will need to recreate. So there won't be need to, you know, use blend mode. If you wish, you can as well use blend mode. It actually worked. But we need to also introduce a gray adjustment, a gray solid color here and change the blend mode to color. Then make sure we restore the brightness we had on the original background, it was somewhere around here. Place it here. Pick up our curves, brighten it up a little bit. Good. Just like that, beautiful. So the next thing to do, or you can even darken it down to bring attention to your old image more. I think this looks nice like that. So this is the before, this is the after. You can as well place it above your main background still gives you know a very nice effect so the next thing to do of course we didn't have shadows that we need to restore originally in the original background so we need to recreate everything by ourselves manually so the next thing we need to do is to make a duplicate of her press ctrl t for the background copy the one down press ctrl t right click and go to flip vertical so it's going to turn her upside down then drag it all the way down Remember, we are trying to recreate a reflection of her on the floor. 
So to create that reflection, we are going to need to do it like this. So we're already having her reflection, just that it's still, you know, the same opacity, the same color and everything. So we need to change the blend mode of this one. Maybe like soft light. Soft light really works perfectly. See the before, see the after. So all we need to do is just to blow it out a little bit, very tiny blowing. Don't make it very strong there. Yeah, something like that. Press OK. So we'll have the reflection perfectly on the floor. The next thing is to create a shadow in between the reflection and the object. How do we do that? We'll create an empty layer here. Pick up our brush. Make sure it's a hard brush. Make sure it's a hard brush and a dark one for that matter. That's something like this. Then make a dab. All right, so press Ctrl T, hold your shift to make that, you know, brush lie down on the floor to give you that circular shape. Then you can hold your control to, you know, use perspective and even bring in a bit more uh, effect to it, to make it look like it's lying down on the floor generally. Okay, so press OK. Use your move tool to drag it directly under her gown and expand it, right? Make it big. Big enough to look like it's down. Shadow up her dress. So once that is done, blow the back, blow the shadow out. Blow it out really well. But not enough to look, you know. Classy. This is okay, press okay. Use your move tool and even push it in a little bit more. We are good to go. Press enter. So the last thing we are needing, we are going to be doing is to do a global color grading. So we can go to our color lookups and find a very perfect color. Oh, this is really, really beautiful. This is also nice. My God, this is fine. So we have massive colors here that are looking very, very high key and beautiful. I think I like the result this is giving the before the after so we'll just reduce it a little bit now there's something i'm seeing on the background it looks like the lady is competing with the background so i'm going to create a vignette effect just for that background so we'll go to our camera roll and we'll go to the effect area of the camera roll come down to the effect and reduce vignette just like this then we'll drag it to the midpoint very important can even increase the highlight, but still have your vignettes in on it. Press OK. Cool. It brings it down. It brings it down. It brings it down. I love the result. Except for the fact that it is too much. So we need to do something about it. And to do that, to make a duplicate, right? Make a duplicate. Or rather, we're gonna apply it again. Instead of making the duplicate, because it's going to affect the whole lot. We're gonna apply it again and reduce the opacity right inside there. So instead of having it at minus 51, we might try somewhere like minus 25. Press OK. Half of all we had a mission. And this time around, it looks better. Very much better very much better and that is how you do it so this is the before this is the after this is the before this is the after so this is how you can transform your normal plain studio background into something really 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 amazing and if up to now you have not joined our telegram community you are missing out a whole uh you are missing out at a whole lot of things because we'll keep bringing updates and we keep giving out free gifts right inside our telegram community so all you need to do is just to comment interested in the comment section of this video and you will be getting the link where you click to join our telegram community thank you so much for watching subscribe to our youtube channel and if you subscribe turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video until then see you on the next one